The city of Omaha gets your input on plans to move the main library branch. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Now, the plan is to put the new downtown branch at 14th and Jones and move the central branch to 72nd and Dodge. KTV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson's live downtown with what people had to say at this afternoon's input meeting. Abby? That meeting had to do with the inside of that new downtown branch as Omaha Public Libraries heard from the community members themselves. After all, they will be the ones spending a lot of their time there. As Omaha Public Libraries gets ready to turn the page on W. Dale Clark, they want to know what you want to see. This is their building, so I think it's essential that you always take into account how they're going to use the space. And who better than the people who care about it the most? I come to this library once a week at least. Community members like Teresa Rome attended the open house Sunday. She loves the library, not only for the books she checks out. This allows me to be able to walk to the library at least once a week and get done what I need to get done for the job that I have. One of the big things I think was just the idea of having a little nook or a little cranny where little kids or adults could go. Rome and soon to be a retired school librarian Randy Placek weighed in. Very welcoming, very bright. Uh, awesome children's area. Placek hopes this will help children enjoy reading. This input is something library assistant director Rachel Steiner calls critical because even though they've already picked out the building for the new branch. We do have some say on kind of where some walls might go in that space like if we want to create a meeting room or study rooms. Um, but what we really want to figure out is if we create meeting rooms, how do we see people using them? Really Although it's the end of this chapter, they hope to make the sequel a bestseller. According to the Omaha Public Library website, the new downtown branch is set to open this fall. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.